WWE and AEW planning some debuts and big things. Guys, we're going to talk about that, plus some very big changes to Royal Rumble. It's coming up right here on The Angle Show. Oh, 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 yes. Welcome back to TAS. Guys, don't forget, we got a giveaway at 100,000 subscribers. If you're interested, you should probably click that subscribe button if you want a chance to win. But without further ado, Megan Bain leaving stardom, coming to AEW. At least according to Dave Meltzer, she is expected back in AEW soon. If you don't watch stardom, Megan Bain was somebody that we had seen in AEW previously. And it looked like Tony Khan had sent her to stardom to get more experience, to improve, and to get better. And uh, my goodness, did she actually do that? She has gone to stardom. She looked incredible during her run in stardom. And she said goodbye to stardom uh, this past week and a half or roughly whatever the time frame is. But uh, yeah, she's coming to AEW. And I think this is a great thing. I really do think this is a great thing. I think it's actually really important that AEW continues to do what they're doing with their women's division. I I've been praising AEW and WWE for the last few months in regards to how they've been handling their women's division. While it's not necessarily an apples to apple comparison, I think both companies have improved tremendously with featuring more women on the card, putting more women's storylines on the show, even if they don't involve the women's championship belts. Um, and in addition to that, I think, you know, Tony Khan recently too has been making these signings where I think they're quality signings. And, and we still don't even know what's happening with Mercedes, right? Mercedes could go to AEW, uh, but AEW brought in Mariah May. They brought in Deanna Perrazzo. Now they're bringing back Megan Bain. I'm actually intrigued to see what they do with her because I think if, especially if you're bringing Mercedes money into the company, you're going to be highlighting a variety of other women who could benefit from that. And if you start putting off some great matches and you really take that ranking system seriously, the way you book these talents will allow the audience to really get acclimated to what they're seeing on TV. And I think from that point, they will start to appreciate it much more. I think Megan Bain, from what I've seen in stardom, has been really awesome, honestly. Um, and, and look, she's not, she's not her name doesn't have the value of Mercedes money. But you want to beef up your women's division by having quality talent. You have Julia Hart. You have Chris Statlander. You have Tony Storm. You have Deanna Perrazzo. You have Mariah May. You have Britt Baker. You have quite a bit of talent there. So when Mercedes comes in, that's going to inevitably help. Uh, but I'm intrigued to see what they do with Megan Bain and how they book her and how they treat her. I would love to see her go for a run at the TBS championship belt. I think that would be very significant for her. But most importantly, I, I hope AEW just gets it right. They've been doing a lot of good things recently. Serena Deeb is returning to Collision. Thunder Rosa has returned. Um, they have a lot of talented women on their roster. It's all about being booked properly. And I, you know, I feel like lately they've been doing a good job of it. So uh, really excited to see this. I can't wait to see how this all goes down. Uh, guys, I want to turn our attention to Brock Lesnar. As you know, while we were live yesterday, there was some breaking news regarding some very serious allegations made towards Vince McMahon, the WWE, and Brock Lesnar. Obviously, these are allegations. Um, I, they're very serious. They're very disturbing. Uh, they're very disgusting. You know, I, I, I want to forewarn you. Like, these allegations are not something that is... It's not light. Like, this is some serious shit. And uh, these allegations had Brock Lesnar listed, sort of. It's very vague. People are making the assumption that Brock Lesnar is part of these allegations. Um, and, and look, with allegations, there's a whole process with the court system. The You know, there's a lawsuit ongoing. We'll have to see what comes from it. Um, Vince McMahon's camp ha has denied the allegations and calls them lies. This is one of those things we have to kind of wait and see what, what goes down, right? With that being said, Brock Lesnar is allegedly tied to these allegations. And, um, you know, obviously there's a lot of talk about Brock Lesnar going into the Royal Rumble because of the fact that the Royal Rumble this year, there was rumors that he would return at the Royal Rumble to set up a feud with Gunther for WrestleMania. Fightful Select had reported that it appears WWE uh, might be making a change to the plans. Um you know, and, and look, the way that I look at this is first and foremost, I, I think this should I think this is obvious if you follow me, but I'm just going to reiterate this for real. Like this is something like I can't believe I have to say this. Um, but if you're part of these allegations, you should not be involved. Um, and, and I know TKO had come out and said they're they're looking at this stuff internally. 
Uh, as far as Brock Lesnar goes or whatever it may be, yeah, he, he should be pulled off of TV until the investigations and everything is concluded. Until the lawsuit and the investigations are concluded, he should be gone. Um, and, and look, I think the, the big thing here is there is a lot of stuff within this lawsuit. Like I said, it's truly disturbing. Not only is it really just like disturbing, but the fact that WWE still has to deal with Vince McMahon just goes to show you really how dumb it was to bring Vince McMahon back considering that Vince McMahon retired due to the previous scandal. Um, but I feel like the, the WWE in general, in this case, it, it's, you gotta, anybody who's involved, they have to be gone. If these allegations are, are, are proven to be true, whoever is involved has to be gone. And it's as simple as that. Um, there is something much more important than wrestling here. I see a lot of talk, a lot of tribalism, a lot of, a lot of bullshit when it comes to this stuff, uh, but let's just call it what it is, right? Like th this is very serious and it needs to be treated with the utmost seriousness. Um, in regards to Brock Lesnar and Gunther, who gives a shit? There's a million other things you could do with Gunther at the Royal Rumble, but until everything is concluded, then you can go from there and decide based on the findings of the investigation. I want to turn our attention to WWE SmackDown because Boozer Wrestling is coming out with some extremely interesting stuff uh, because it appears that uh, WWE has a few debuts planned this weekend. Uh, and the belief is that they are happening on SmackDown. Um, one thing that was really interesting about the Boozer tweet was something about it being electric. And, and look, I think there's a lot of possibilities with Trick Williams coming up on SmackDown. But I genuinely do not know who could be debuting on SmackDown before Royal Rumble. I, I, I said this in the prediction live stream that I think it's really important that WWE keeps a lot of surprises for the Royal Rumble. If WWE has surprises prior to the Royal Rumble and not as many surprises for the Royal Rumble, I just think that's outright stupid. But it will be interesting to see who debuts here. Uh, is it an NXT call-up? Is it a brand new talent from somewhere else? There are some rumors that Tama Tonga, you know, because he's leaving New Japan, could be headed to WWE. Is this one of those things where Tama Tonga shows up on SmackDown or does he show up in the Royal Rumble? Guys, I have no idea what to expect here. Um, but obviously, there is a lot, a lot, a lot of talk about SmackDown and the Royal Rumble this weekend. And on top of that, we have a very solid card for Rampage and Collision. So if you're into wrestling, this weekend is definitely going to be the one that has a lot of good action. Um, you know, it's, it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out, but WWE having a debut on SmackDown, I really can't think of who it would be other than an NXT talent. Uh, Trinity would be a return. Uh, you know, there, Tama Tonga is like the only free agent. I don't think Okada comes into WWE on a Friday night SmackDown, but literally you have no idea what can happen. If Okada were even WWE bound in the first place, you don't, I don't think you waste that on a SmackDown, but nonetheless, it should be a very interesting episode of SmackDown. Live reviews this weekend. Don't miss out. Thank you guys for watching the Angle Show. Oh, 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 oh yes.